हेलो जीनेसिस सो इन दिस मेंटल मैथ सीरीज वी लर्न अ लॉट ऑफ मैट्रिक्स नाउ टू एक्चुअली यूज दिस ट्रिक्स यू शुड हैव अ गुड मेमरी अ गुड मेमरी टू स्टोर नंबर्स अ गुड मेमरी टू रिमेंबर दिस ट्रिक्स वेन दे आर नीडिड ऑल्सो इन मैथ्स वी नीड टू रिमेंबर फॉर्म्यूलाज एंड अ लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स सो अ गुड मेमरी इज अ मस्ट इफ यू आर डू गुड इन मैथ्स सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोन शेयर विद यू सम रियली गुड मेमरी एनहांसमेंट पॉइंट्स विच आई टुक फ्रॉम द बुक सुपर मेमरी बाय शकुंतला देवी like shakuntala devi had a really good memory a really good working memory she could remember long strings of numbers so let's learn from her how to have a super memory so before starting this video i just want to share with you this game a really cool card game known as math rush this is a really fun card game with which you can engage children with math in a really fun way also on their site there are a lot of different type of card games for people of all ages so definitely check out these interesting games from the link in the description of this video okay so the first thing that i want to clear is that there is no thing like i am not born with a good memory or age is catching up with me so always remember that our brain is a muscle and it can be trained also the most common culprits in having a bad memory are the least suspected ones like unhappiness so in this book she says that a robust memory requires a fertile ground so before she taught memorization tricks she taught us how to make our mind a fertile ground so in this video i will also share with you the points to make your mind a fertile ground see memory tricks are one thing like the one i taught you on how to memorize pi up to 100 digits like converting numbers into words and then to images and there are tons of tricks like this like memory palace etc etc but to actually use them we need to have a fertile ground so point number 1 throw out the mental clutter now let's take an example you memorized the word screever okay you like repeated it again and again screever 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 and its meaning in your head okay now after a month you don't even remember which word you memorized no matter how much you try you don't remember that what was that you memorized so why is that one reason of this is the clutter in your mind the extra useless information that you feed in every day that has no use in your life and also negative emotions like anger these things clog your mind and use your memory the brain cells that stores the word the screever they use it and then you forget it because it is no longer there in your brain until you have a connection of that thing with something else something stronger which excites feeling so if you don't have that then you will surely forget it so what we learned is that the mental clutter and negative emotions affect the memory a lot a lot than you know okay so always make a effort to be happy like see richard feynman einstein all these people were happy they loved life they loved to live so being sad have a lot of negative effects and having a bad memory is also one of them and also do not binge watch youtube and do not put in extra useless information in your mind this will also clog your mind feed that which is necessary so now point number 2 keep an open mind so what do i mean by keeping an open mind okay so let's take an example see this this is the roman number 9 okay now i will ask you a question the question is that you need to add here a line or a curve anything to convert this number 9 into the number 6 Okay so if you have a closed mind you will give up immediately you know whatever like rotate it do it like this i don't know okay but if you have a open mind you will say just add a s and the closed minded ones will now see that they knew s and they also knew ix and 92 but their mind was so closed that they cannot connect this 1x with s to make 6 so always have an open mind if you like close your mind in roman numerals like he asked a question in roman numerals the answer should be in roman numerals so like you have a closed mind but open mind will say why not add s like let your creativity take over remember that this is the exact same thing that led newton to discover the law of gravity like he was not the first one to see a apple fall and also archimedes was not the first one to take a bath 
but their open mindedness created history so always keep an open mind and with an open mind you will have a good memory because now you can connect things in your mind and the more connections of a thing with other things are there in your mind the better you remember it so always have an open mind now for the next point let me tell you a story of a maths professor named alexander atkin who basically performed the most impressive feat of mental calculation so basically he memorized pi up to 1000 digits and like he was saying it in front of a audience and suddenly someone stood up from the audience and challenged him to stop right there and start from the 551st digit and he swiftly did it without a single error how he explained that the secret to his amazing memory and concentration was to relax yeah so the third point is to have a good concentration but what is concentration according to him is relaxation the more relaxed your mind is the better you will concentrate like it is the exact opposite that we think about concentration like we need to like concentrate with adding a effort to concentration no your mind should be relaxed and when focusing on a thing like you don't need to think about focusing like i need to focus on this no you just need to relax and like look at the thing look at the work and like do it without thinking like you need to concentrate and when you will do this you will automatically start concentrating so like trying to concentrate what result in concentration like relaxing your mind and like doing your work will result in concentration so point number 3 is concentrate but do not try to concentrate now another point was to check your diet like our brain is a muscle and it needs all the nutrients okay so always check your diet like you can't have a good memory with a bad diet and also there was another unrelated point which was get into the sun she says that like plants our mind and whole body gets a surge of energy from sunlight so getting sunlight 5 to 10 minutes every day will help you improve your memory and the last point was pretty simple you need to trust yourself like do not tell to yourself like you are a fool you are born with a bad memory always trust yourself and trust the theme of this channel that everyone is a genius so now with all these points in mind try to learn something new like throw out the mental flutter have an open mind and also relax get a good diet sunlight and you will see a really big difference in your memory so thanks for watching this video in the next video we will also follow this book and learn the principles of super learning and always remember that math is everything